Last year, around about this time, I started an experiment where I tested various ways of preparing chili seeds for germination. I think the results are going to surprise you. Let's get inside the germinator and discuss them. Like many of you, I've been getting my chili seeds started over the last couple of weeks. Mostly my super hots, and we can see them all sitting over here. I've also started my Etsy and eBay seeds from the experiment that I'm running, the uh, video that I put out last week, go check that out. So let's go inside because it's a lot warmer inside the potting shed than it is out here. Just a quick heads up, I don't have the lights running normally during the daytime, I only have them on now just for the video, but typically I'd run them at night because they do emit some heat from these ballasts and well from the boards, that's why there's heat sinks up here. And that helps to keep this place warm at night where it's typically colder than normal. I try to use a fairly large sample size here and do this as scientifically as possible. And of course, the sample size isn't big enough to warrant a stamp of approval from the scientific community, but hopefully it helps you out in making decisions in terms of getting your seeds ready for germination. Let's talk through the methodology and also the results. I started the experiment on the 21st of February 2023. I went with three different species of chilies, the Capsicum frutescens, Capsicum anum, and the Capsicum pubescens. For the frutescens, I used a CC peri-peri. For the anum, I used a CC jalapeno. And for the pubescens, I used the ricotto manzano. I wanted to test three different methods of preparing the seeds. The first was soaking it in tea. You can either use black English breakfast tea, or in this case, I used chamomile tea, as long as it has tea. Tannins. The second method was using 3% hydrogen peroxide mixed with filtered water at a rate of 8 to 1. Thirdly, filtered water, just plain filtered water. I added a fourth method, which was basically not soaking them in anything. All liquids were brought to the same temperature of 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the seeds were soaked for 12 hours before planting. Let's take a look at the results. Firstly, we'll look at the average days of germination by variety, and we can see here that the CC Peri Peri took an average of 7.5 days, the CC Jalapeno took an average of 7.875 days, and the Ricotta Manzano took an average of 9.25 days. Now let's look at the more important graph, and that is the average days to germination by method. And as you can see, on top is the T method with an average of 6.4 days across all varieties, with H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide coming in second with 7.4 days, then third was water with 8.2 days average across all varieties, and then lastly was no soaking at all with an average of 10 days. I must be honest, I was quite surprised at the results. I expected the hydrogen peroxide to be better than the T method, or at least at the same level. But as you can see here, the T method is a whole day on average better than the hydrogen peroxide method. Hopefully the results of this experiment speak for themselves. No, you don't need to soak your seeds, especially if they are fresh seeds. And any seed you buy from me, chilichumpseeds.com, they are fresh seeds. You can put them straight into the soil, cover them over lightly, keep them moist, keep them warm, and you should have fantastic germination. However, by soaking them, you're gonna have quicker germination and you're gonna have a more vigorous and healthy seedling, at least in my experience. Now for me, I'm going to continue doing the soaking method, even though with the many, many varieties that I start each year, it's quite time consuming and a lot of work, but I kind of enjoy the ritual of it. And of course, the results speak for themselves, both anecdotally over the many years I've been doing this, but now also from the results of this experiment. Tell me about how you start your seedlings, what are the best methods that you use and the best results that you get. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. Good luck with your season. Good luck with your seedlings. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay spicy.